Hi there. Welcome to Congo and British Wrestling. I'm Big Papa T. Subscribe to this channel and keep watching to Congo Wrestling. My name is Frank, Frank Pinda. Frank Pinda Kai. Welcome to uh, Congo British Wrestling. Oh, can you please just subscribe so you can get all the news? Thank you. Moi c'est Guy et je suis le manager de World Wrestling Action, WWE, ici en Angleterre. Amateur du sport en général et amateur de ces disciplines qui est aussi le catch. Voilà, un outil de jumelage, un outil de, de connexion entre le peuple congolais et le peuple britannique, notamment sa diaspora, à travers cette chaîne, une toute nouvelle, Congo British Wrestling Channel. Abonnez-vous massivement pour suivre et pour ne rien rater de cette nouvelle expérience où nous faisons revivre le catch congolais avec en prélude ce combat. Avec ceinture qui se joue ce dimanche 6 août 2023 ici à Londres entre le britannique Joe Redman, une ancienne star de WWE et bien entendu l'une des stars meilleures parmi les meilleures au Congo il s'agit de l'athlète Ninja Sikatenda le rendez-vous est donc pris ce dimanche 6 août 2023 Congo British Wrestling. Tu sais que Ben Sabino chaîne y a ngoyo, oye bota ba ba komba ya catch ya ba Congolais ba zana d'Angleterre na ba zana kin, bota ba komba na ba na chaîne oye bo sabone bele komba ya bota ba komba ya dis. If you keep watching, more of this wrestling action will continue. Big Papa T.E. Yes, one of the most known wrestlers from the Congo. He become a huge catch or wrestling star in England. Big Papa T.E. was a catch or wrestling champion. People would come out to see Big Papa T. The catch resting crowd loved Big Popate. Big Papa T always had a wrestling mask on. Big Papa T was also a big army man, so when Big Papa T was wrestling he never wanted to show his face. Big Papa T was a great family man. Here we are and we are back for this contest here from Tottenham. N22 just around the corner from White Hart Lane. We have the Ninja 
taking on Joel Redman right here in a very important match. This match might be coming in from a school hall, but it is part of a Congo press conference for a huge tour coming up in the Congo and it is a select audience only in the crowd right now as Joel Redman is putting a leg stretch on the ninja. Joel Redman has a second man outside the ring that seems to be getting involved all the time, this mystery man coming in and taking it to the ninja. I think he's a nemesis of the ninja from the Congo. Joel Redman really showing his dominance in this contest as he goes here for a scorpion deathlock but the ninja seems to be very tense so it's going to be difficult for him to get this hold on him right now. Joel Redman taking the leg there, trying to get him out the ring, but it looks like the ninja is having absolutely none of that and leaving Joel Redman outside of the ring. Redman manages to sneak attack him from behind using the mystery man as a distraction and yet again he manages to take the leg outside of the ring. The man from the Congo is resisting though but he's in a very uncompromising position here as it looks like Joel Redman is going to have a little bit of fun with the ninja's leg. The ninja's regrouping now and if you look at him it looks like he's shaking off the pain as he goes straight for Joel Redman with some very 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 nasty looks like they're closed fists almost but he delivers an uppercut very tight wrestling here lands a suplex and he's got a nice pin on him and again that mystery man comes inside the ring but look at this it looks like the ninja has got Joel Redman locked up if he can get that arm and he can pull it down on the mat, he might be able to secure a free count, but Joel Redman is too clever. Elbow to the back of the neck and he takes the leg and look at this. Looks like he's going for it. He's going for a figure four leg lock now. And he's got it hooked on. Very good wrestling there by Joel Redman. Beautiful figure four leg lock, but the ninja manages to get to the ropes and it's a break. Ninja gets to his feet and the ninja delivers what looks like a fist, but there he's locked him up almost in a bear hug. What's he going to go for? Swings him around. He's going to go for a head mare, but Joel Redman leans in on him. Excellent wrestling again there by Joel Redman, teaching the Congo what the Brits are made of. As he now this time delivers a snap suplex, but very quick kick out by the ninja, but Joel Redman delivers a knee. This is non-stop wrestling action, but look at these punches, completely and utterly uncalled for uncalled for in a match here uncalled for you should not be punching like that in a catcher's catch can wrestling match this is an exhibition match for the people of the Congo to watch on live stream but however look at that the guy from the Congo the ninja punches Joel Redman right in the testicles right on the testicles Realistically, this should be a blatant disqualification as he puts him in a sleeper hold now. He's winded him and he's going to wear him down more, but there we go with the mystery man. The mystery man is back in the ring, delivers a kick to the back, which breaks it up. Joel Redman is safe and he is out of that and it looks like he's doing okay and his testicles aren't too winded after that punch. 
Joel Redman there with a front way slam. He didn't scoop him quite the way up, but that can be painful because you hit the mat a lot faster. As Joel Redman now goes up to the top rope and he delivers a huge knee, catches him on the shoulder there and the ninja almost rolls himself to the outside of the ring. This is a fantastic contest right now, just off the outskirts of White Hart Lane in N22 Tottenham, the home of Big Papa T. Joel Redman goes for a punch there, it gets blocked and now we see the ninja firing up, firing up good and proper on Joel Redman, but the mystery man comes in the ring and we have ourselves a double head scissor. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And now look, we have ourselves a power bomb out of nowhere. We've got a one, we've got a two, and we've got a three. Here we have the highlights on the screen right now. Joel Redman putting the ninja's leg into the corner post, really weakening the leg, but the ninja was absolutely no slouch, firing back up on Joel Redman the best he possibly could and delivering a fantastic suplex. Joel Redman was, however, working the leg through this contest so that he could get this figure four leg lock move in and attempt to get a submission on the man from the Congo. However, the man in the Congo continued to fight, tried to head mare Joel Redman over, but Joel slides down along his back and puts a front face lock on him, showing him to be a superior technical wrestler, an absolutely outstanding technical wrestler, but then Joel Redman resorts to some real dirty tactics, using some punches to the side of the temple to weaken the man down, but then the man made the big comeback with a punch to the testicles. The punch to the testicles weakened the man and he finished him off with an absolutely fantastic five-star powerbomb. In news from British Wrestling, the Congo got a huge win over a British wrestling star this weekend just gone. However a move was made in the match which is not legal. I've been informed that the investigation is underway. The decision that could be reversed, the referee of this contest could lose his license and be suspended. Keep your eyes wide open to the news.